In this video, we'll share the top 14 things to do in Quebec City. At number one, we have Morin Center located in Old Quebec. The Morin Center has a rich history that spans centuries. Initially a military prison in the 18th century, it later served as a civilian prison and then became the city's first English language college. Today, the Morin Center primarily functions as an English language library, offering a haven for English speakers in a predominantly francophone city. Guided tours of the facility provide insights into its storied past, from the old jail cells to the Victorian library. At number two we have Basilica of Saint Anne de Beaupre, located about 22 miles northeast of central Quebec City. This magnificent basilica is dedicated to Saint Anne, the patron saint of Quebec. The basilica is renowned for its stunning architecture, with its central vault covered in intricate mosaics and 240 stained glass windows that bathe the interior in vibrant colors. The basilica has been a pilgrimage site for centuries, attracting visitors seeking blessings and healing. At number three we have Battlefields Park, Parc des Champs de Bataille. A site of historical significance, Battlefields Park, also known as the Plains of Abraham, witnessed the pivotal Battle of Quebec during the French and Indian War. Today the park is a serene space where visitors can enjoy fresh air, manicured gardens, and riverfront vistas. The Joan of Arc Garden is a particular highlight, showcasing beautifully curated plants and flowers. At number four we have Terrasse du Ferrand. Positioned just below the iconic Fairmont Le Chateau Frontenac, Terrasse du Ferrand offers unparalleled views of the St. Lawrence River. Originally a military fortification, the public park now serves as a popular gathering spot, especially in the summer when street performers and artists entertain visitors. In winter, an ice toboggan ride adds a touch of excitement. At number five we have Montmorency Falls Park, Parc de la Chute Montmorency, located along the St. Lawrence River. Montmorency Falls Park is home to a waterfall that stands at 272 feet, making it one and a half times taller than Niagara Falls. The park offers various activities, from hiking trails to zip lining across the cove of the falls. In winter, snowshoeing and ice climbing are popular pursuits. At number six, we have Quartier Petit Champlain. As the oldest shopping district in North America, Quartier Petit Champlain exudes historical charm. Restored houses host boutique shops and cozy cafes, making it a delightful place to wander and shop. The famous Escalier Cascou, or Breakneck Steps, offers a challenging climb with rewarding views at the top. At number seven we have Place Royale. Place Royale is more than just a picturesque spot in old Quebec. It's the birthplace of the French colony and the French-American community. The area boasts several tributes to its French colonial past including a bust of Louis XIV and the Église Notre-Dame de Victoire, North America's oldest stone church. At number eight we have the Citadel, La Citadelle, the largest British-built fortress in North America. Quebec City's Citadel took 30 years to complete. Today it's home to the Royal 22E Regiment, the only Francophone infantry contingent of the regular Canadian Armed Forces. The on-site museum offers insights into the Canadian Armed Forces' history, at number 9 we have Old Quebec, View Quebec. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, Old Quebec is a treasure trove of history and culture. The area boasts quaint stone buildings, winding streets, and notable attractions like the Notre Dame Basilica. Visitors often find themselves enchanted by the European ambiance and architectural beauty. At number 10 we have Notre Dame de Quebec Basilica, situated in the heart of Old Quebec. This basilica has witnessed the passage of time and several reconstructions. Its neo-baroque interior, adorned with gold leaf, historical religious paintings and treasures, is a testament to the city's rich religious heritage. At number 11 we have Museum of Civilization, Musée de la Civilization. Located in Old Quebec, this museum delves into the history of human society in Quebec. Interactive exhibits bridge the gap between the past and present, covering topics ranging from city life across generations to Quebec's culinary heritage. At number 12 we have Musée du Fort. While not elaborated upon in the provided content, the Musée du Fort is a notable attraction in Quebec City, offering insights into the city's military history and the battles that shaped its destiny. At number 13 we have Observatoire de la Capitale, another attraction not detailed in the content. The Observatoire de la Capitale provides panoramic views of Quebec City, 
allowing visitors to take in the city's architectural splendor from a unique vantage point. At number 14, we have Musée des Ursulines de Québec. While specific details were not provided, the Musée des Ursulines de Québec is an integral part of the city's history, chronicling the contributions of the Ursuline nuns and their impact on education and healthcare in the region. So that sums up my top 14 things to do in Quebec City. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.